beautiful welcome back to my channel my name is Kari if this is your first time you are welcome so in today's video we'll be talking about Dutch words better said in Dutch these are words better described in Dutch because you would try to explain them in English or in any other language but it will not be given <laughs> So this word, in no order of preference, in no order of choice, or in no order of anything, these are Dutch words that every Dutch person says and uses, and it's also one of the few words that expats, non-Dutch people who live in the Netherlands has also picked, because it just gives so sweet and so nice and lovely to say when you use it. Please go ahead and click your subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. This is to encourage me on my channel. I know you love what you see already. So guys, click your subscribe button, support my family and your thumbs up. This is also to grow my channel. So one of the words that I've come to love is borel. Oh my God, we have found that borreling. Borel is something that Maybe after work, you're going out with friends to sit down, have a cup of drink, wine, drink, or just sit down, have some biscuits. And I don't know how to, it's just, even, it's not just, there are no loud music. It does not involve a loud crowd or anything. It's just something loving, nice, sweet, warm. You know, see the words that I'm using to describe just one word. So borrow is so an amazing word and beautiful word that once you use it in the name, we can find out borrowing. Everyone already knows, oh, that is so nice. That is so lovely. So borrowing is that one word that it does not just have an, a word to describe it in English. You have to make so many sentences in order for you to come up with what that word borrowing. Another word that I have also come to like is do you normal or do you or gek genoeg? <laughs> so this particular <laughs> this particular word is do you normal or do you or gek genoeg? <laughs> this is when someone is trying, oftentimes this person is trying to fake it. This person is trying to do an absurd thing. This person is going over the top. This person is going over the board. This person is just, it's just a handful in one. And you're like, do you normal? Do you normal? <laughs> and Dutch people, we're holding for gewoon. Do you normal, man? Do you normal? <laughs> don't be crazy. Don't be stupid. Don't be outrageous. Don't be... It's just do you normal? Is that lovely? Is well, this is a, a sentence short fun, but you can actually shorten it and just say do you normal? Do you normal? <laughs> so I've loved this Dutch word, and it's so interesting to say. Yeah, is yeah, is it's such a beautiful word to say. I can say that. So another Dutch word that I have come to use is spanant. Spanant is such a word. <sighs> you are excited, but you are not excited. You want to do this, but you don't want to do it. You are feeling all tensed up in everything. You don't even know what the outcome will be, but you still want to know it. Like, it is so many words comprised in one. Spanant. Oh, this is spanant. You can't just wait, but you still, there's so much anxiety also going on in you. So it's such a sweet, lovely, bitter lemon of a word that you use spanant. And I love it because you are excited, but you're not excited. You are waiting for this, but you're not really waiting for it. It's, it's just, <laughs> it's just a lot going on, but saying it in Dutch makes you feel relaxed, makes you feel cool, makes you feel, oh yeah, spanant. Another Dutch word that I have also come to love is lekker. Oh my God. This 
if you're a foreigner i'm sure once you land in the netherlands your first one week you're going to hear it and you're like what the fuck is what is this word i'm hearing everywhere everyone loves lekker lekker is a word whether the with it's every dot word has lekker in it like het is lekker weird het is lekker uh, Het is uh, lekker, uh, het meal dat het eten is lekker. Uh, oh, wat lekker. Bisk so many things are just lekker, 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 lekker. It's such a lovely word. Oh, what lekker. Someone one might do something and you say, oh, what lekker. Someone might say something nice. Oh, what lekker that it is nice it is sweet it is loving it is giving it is energy it is everything even when you're eating they also oh it's lekker it's lekker it's such an amazing and lovely word that once you use it you already give sending a positive vibe to this person already understand what you mean by oh it's lekker is there's is there's no english word you will use to describe it okay so another Dutch word that I have come to love is ongeduld as om onblik ogenblik geduld asjeblieft. <laughs> if you try to translate this word literally <laughs> in English, it ogenblik that is I of a can with asjeblieft. <laughs> It's such a word that it is better said in Dutch. There's no, there's no, don't try to frame it in any way to make it sound better in English. No. Ogunblik geduwde asjeblieft. It's like when you, you go to somewhere and people are in queue or the person that wants to attend to you is doing something or you call on the phone, they will tell you to wait for a few moments or seconds that this person want is, would attend to you. So that ogunblik the Ashiblift is like it's just going to take a second before we attend to you. <laughs> but do not be surprised that a second is going to turn to 10, 7, 8 minutes. <laughs> but they make it sound ogumblik before you blink your eyes, we are there. So do just hang in there. It's a lovely word. I love to use it and I like it as well. Another Dutch word better said in Dutch is lekker bezig. <laughs> this particular word, it can be used positively and negatively. It can be used in a positive and a negative way. What do I mean by this? You might do something wrong at home or you, you hit your, you broke your bike or you broke your phone or you break a plate at home you do something and uh, people around you will tell you like a basic young man like a basic <laughs> they make you feel comfortable but still uncomfortable <laughs> it's like job well done job well done but you know what <laughs> So like a basic here yeah, is that negative and positive word that you can use that if someone broke a plate, oh like a basic, you're doing well, breaking plates at home, yeah, you know. <laughs> it also when you accomplish some tasks, when you are doing things, when you're having a positive day, you're completing your tasks. Oh, people are, oh wow, like a basic, wow, they are impressed about what you have done, what you have achieved, and the things, you know they are happy that you are doing all this and so they tell you like a basic so this is also the other angle when you say it's negative and positive this is what how people use it and then yeah i love it so another word that i love in dutch is it's maklik oh my god this particular one is so sweet and lovely and the way it sounds it's maklik it's like is when you are seated at the table you all about to eat Everyone will tell you it's maklik, it's maklik, is enjoy your meal, but it's enjoy your meal, but it's just sweet, like a, sweetly said, 
It's smartlik. I love it. It's better said in Dutch and described in Dutch just like that. Period. Another word that I have also come to like that can only be described in Dutch is jarig. What do I mean by jarig? Jarig is someone whose birthday is being celebrated. So, he is jarig. He is vandaag jarig. He is the jarig. He is telling, it's just the person whose birthday is being celebrated. So, jarig. He ben jarig. He is the jarig. He is celebrating his birthday today. Today is his birthday. Like you're not making a long word, just one word, yarach, and that is it. Oh, they already know. Oh, gefeliciteerd. Oh, gefeliciteerd. Oh, gefeliciteerd met your verjaardag. Gefeliciteerd met your verjaardag. Best of wishes on your verjaardag. Stuff like that. So, yarach is one Dutch word that is better said in Dutch. You can't say it in any other way. If you try to describe it, is you're making a long sentence and it's not giving that Dutch vibe. And now the word that I have also love come to love in Dutch words, Netherlands is hamstering. We gaan hamstering. <laughs> hamstering is, um, you know, when in 2020 where there was everywhere was actually um, like the world is about to come to an end and everyone was running to the stores to buy everything that you need for the next hundred years to come. <laughs> everyone was rushing to the supermarket, everyone is going to the stores buying everything because you don't know what the world is going to be, whether you'll be like in those movies they show you that people are living in the 125 years and stuff like that. So. When your people are buying, 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 they call it in the Netherlands. Ah, oh, you've been hamstering. Ich ha vandaag hamstering. That is what it is described. When you shop so much, a lot more than what you just need at the moment, people can hamstering. So it's just one word in Dutch. It's better said in Dutch. You can't describe it in any other way, and I just love it. Another Dutch word that I have come to like again is better said in Dutch is outwine. What is outwine? Is like when you step out of your home, you need to get it, go get a fresh or bright air. You need to clear your head. You need to you need to, uh, you need to feel fresh, you need to feel the breeze, you need to feel you just want to go out there and you know take a walk but it's not just taking a walk it's so many things comprising and one so that is why this word is better said in dutch and no other way let me know in the comment section which other dutch word you like are you a dutch person watching this video which other word do you like what they said in Dutch as well? Let me know in the comment section. Hope you enjoyed this video and this video was interesting and nice. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. It is to encourage me on my channel. And I will see you in next of my videos. But first, let me see you in these videos. Have a wonderful day.